This is a Paramount C uh, banjo, tenor banjo, serial number 5108. It's in very good condition. The only uh, the only things that are that are not original about it are the tuners. The, this this banjo originally came with page tuners, which were made with uh, uh, pot metal housings. Uh, they were cast and they fractured very easily. Uh, quite some time ago, uh, this this uh, banjo had a set of Grover two tabs placed on it. Um, you'll notice that it has the original armrest. It has the uh, original tailpiece, both of which are highly sought after. That's a, a custom bridge made from uh, submerged wood and ebony. And this is the typical uh, typical uh, laying design. I've taken the the resonator off for this shot just to show you what the inside of the resonator looks like. Here is the neck, and you'll note that it is totally intact. I'll get another close, a little bit closer in, and you can see it. Nice carving there, typical of the Paramount Seas. And this is the one thing I always look for in Paramount banjos. Here is the back of the instrument. Uh, you notice the the fancy uh, the, the fancy marquetry, uh, and this is the the uh, patented uh, system that he used to to hold the dowel stick in. This the, the dowel is uh, adjustable, and you can adjust the angle of the neck with this. The neck brace is also a very simple neck brace, but very effective. And this is typical of of uh, the Lang banjos and the Paramount uh, lettered line. And you can see the serial number here. The heel is perfectly intact. There are no fractures in the heel, and I'll show you a side shot of this later. Uh, although it's typical for these to have fractured heels because it's a, actually a design flaw the way they're made. They're, there's a, a grain line that runs right right across where the doll stick is and often in transit they get fractured. It's an easy fix if it does get fractured. The back, this is uh, mahogany. It almost looks like rosewood, but it's mahogany. There's a little bit of buckle rash on here, but not too much. It's not in bad shape at all. We'll go up the neck. You can see that it's a, a multi-piece neck. That's Hollywood uh, uh, and dyed pearwood in addition to the to the mahogany. A nice estoppel there and these are the these are the you know, it's the carving and these are the two tab grovers. And here's what it sounds like. Let's see.